This morning, we're a few weeks out from school starting. Can you believe it? Summer flew by. It did. It really did, which means that we're also a few weeks away for all of the return of school after school activities. Mm -hmm. Tia Trudgen joins us live from Studio Dance Arts in Marquette for a look into the upcoming season. Hey Tia, how you doing? Hey girls, I'm doing well. Actually, I was in the tumbling room a couple of minutes ago, and I don't know if you remember those hexagonal mats that you practice um, doing backbends and walkovers on. I actually got stuck midway, so I'm learning now in my mid-20s I'm no longer as limber <laughs> as I once won. So, you know, it's really exciting watching these girls practice this morning. They've got some really sweet skills, and the season is coming up. So if you've never been involved in dance or gymnastics before, this would be a great time to uh, take a look at what it's all about and get started. I'm here with the studio director, Miss Ashley Tremblay, to talk more about that. So any upcoming deadlines that parents should be aware of? about? Right now, our registration is open for fall for Marquette Gymnastics and Cheer, as well as um, the studio. And you can register and find all the class offerings right online at studiodancearts.com. And what are some of those offerings and what are your age groups for kids that you can teach? Right now on the dance side, we offer uh, preschool all the way up through advanced classes, as well as competitive classes. Um, on the gymnastics side, we have a parent and taught class all the way up through our competitive level as well. So lots of class offerings, beginner, intermediate, um, and for all age ranges as well. And here in the gymnastics room that there's girls of different ages here practicing their different skills. Can you talk about the different elements of gymnastics and the different skills and trainings that the girls will go through here? Yeah, they, they've put a lot of hard work, especially in over the summer, mm -hmm. um, to uh, increase their skills that they will be taking to competition. What you're seeing currently are some of our competitive gymnasts um, ranging different levels, but they um, train and uh, will compete on beam, vault, uh, uneven bars, and floor. Are all of your gymnasts here, um, not just here, but in the studio in general, are all of them competitive or do you have a recreational, simply for learning gymnastics program as well? Absolutely, yes. So we have, like I said, a lot of classes all the way from parent and taught. Um, our beginner program is very popular um, and that is where everything starts. You start building that love for gymnastics. Um, and we have amazing staff uh, that currently are all uh, USAG certified. Now a USAG sanctioned facility this year. Also, when I was walking down the hallway of your studio, I couldn't help but notice all of the hardware, all of the trophies you've got. <laughs> you have a really uh, winning team here. Yeah, all the kids are really great. They they put in a lot of hard work, and I they wouldn't be able to achieve all those accomplishments without our amazing staff that we have here. All righty. Well, I was wondering if maybe Miss Maya over there could teach me a thing or two on the vault really quickly. If we if we have enough time, that is uh, in the studio. Probably, Amanda, if you need to take it away, that's okay. But let's see, Olivia. Do you want to show her how to do it? You want to show her how to do a straight jump? Yep. So you got to start. All the way down there, and you run as fast as you can. Okay, so I start all the way down there, run as fast as I can, and then... Okay. I'm going to give you this. Okay. Feel free to narrate if you want. Okay. Like. Run as fast as you can. Now, this is hot lava. You okay. can't touch the lava. Nope. Okay. You got it. <laughs> I can be a 10 out of 10. And she sticks the landing. Alrighty, ladies, back to you. I'll leave it on that win. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tia, are you okay? <laughs> A for effort. Yes, I am. Okay, good, good. good. You know what? You keep practicing that. I'm glad they've got some padded mats so you don't, you know, really hurt yourself or anything. But that was a good first try. It, they yeah. make it look so easy. I used to do gymnastics. It's not that easy. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of coordination, a lot of <laughs> sprained ankles happen, honestly. Um, my ankles are quite weak now. But oh, no. thank you. A lot of muscles, too. A you lot of muscles. So yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Tia. We'll check it back in with you pretty soon.